Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss that rational expressions are closed under addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Also, you will see how to add, subtract, divide and multiply rational expressions. Now, in our earlier session, we have discussed that a set of polynomials is closed under addition, subtraction and multiplication. And here we will discuss that a rational expression in which both numerator and denominator are polynomials is closed under different operations. Now we know that a rational expression involves variables. Now here we will discuss rational expressions in one variable. Now a rational expression is of the form f of x upon g of x where g of x is not equal to 0 and f of x and g of x are polynomials. Now when no function is written in the denominator, now here let us take a polynomial function f of x and here you can see no function is written in the denominator. So we consider the denominator g of x to be 1. So f of x can be written as f of x upon 1. It means it can be written in the form f of x upon g of x. Thus we can say that every polynomial is a rational expression. Now a rational expression can also be of form 1 upon f of x. Since we have discussed that just like integers, set of polynomials is closed under addition, subtraction and multiplication. Now we know that every polynomial is a rational expression. Thus, set of rational expressions is also closed under addition, subtraction and multiplication. Now we have to prove that set of rational expressions is closed under division. For this, consider two rational expressions, 3x plus 12 whole upon 4x and x square minus 16 whole upon 2. Now let us divide 3x plus 12 whole upon 4x by x square minus 16 whole upon 2. So we have 3x plus 12 whole upon 4x the whole divided by x square minus 16 whole upon 2 the whole further by definition of division this is equal to 3x plus 12 whole upon 4x the whole into now taking the reciprocal of the second expression this will be 2 upon x square minus 16 the whole. Now let us factorize the numerator of the first rational expression. Now numerator of first rational expression is 3x plus 12. Now taking 3 common from both these terms, it will be 3 into x plus 4 the whole. Also, we can factorize 
the denominator of second rational expression, the denominator is x square minus 16, which can be written as x square minus 4 square, and this is equal to x minus 4 the whole into x plus 4 the whole by using the identity that is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b the whole into a minus b the whole. So this will be equal to 3 into x plus 4 the whole all upon 4x into 2 upon x minus 4 the whole into x plus 4 the whole. Now we will cancel the common factor that is x plus 4 the whole. Further this is equal to 3 upon. Now 4x can be written as 2 into 2x into 2 upon x minus 4 the whole further 2 into 1 is 2 so this is equal to 3 upon 2x into 1 upon x minus 4 the whole which is equal to 3 upon 2x into x minus 4 the whole which is equal to 3 upon 2x square minus 8x. Now, this is again a rational expression. So, here we can see that dividing two rational expressions, the resultant is again a rational expression. So, set of rational expressions is closed under division. Now let us see how to multiply rational expressions. Now we know product of the rational numbers that is a upon b and c upon d is equal to a upon d into c upon d which is equal to ac upon BD. Similarly, for multiplication of rational expressions, we have first method here. The product of two rational expressions is the fraction whose numerator is the product of the given numerators and denominator is the product of given denominators. And we reduce the resulting fraction by factorization if possible, to its lowest terms. And then, in the second method, we factorize the polynomials in the two fractions and then we cancel any factors common to numerator and denominator. And then, we multiply the resulting numerators and denominators. Now let us discuss these methods with the help of examples. First of all, we will discuss an example and here we have to multiply 3x upon x plus 3 the whole and 2x plus 6 whole upon 5x the whole. Now here we will use the first method. Now according to this method, we will multiply the numerators and denominators of the given fractions. So this will be equal to 3x into 2x plus 6 the whole 1 upon x plus 3 the whole into 5x which is equal to, now in the numerator we will have 3x into 2x that is 6x square plus 3x into 6 that is 18x all upon now in the denominator we will have 
5x into x that is 5x square plus 5x into 3 that is 15x. Now we reduce this resulting fraction by factorization if possible to its lowest terms. Now factorizing the numerator this is equal to now taking 6x common from both the terms in numerator it will be 6x into x plus 3 the whole whereupon now in the denominator taking 5x common from both the terms it will be 5x into x plus 3 the whole. Now we will cancel the common factor that is x plus 3 the whole and x so this is equal to 6 upon 5. So this was method 1 to multiply the two rational expressions. Now let us discuss the second method for multiplication of these two rational expressions. Now in the second method we will factorize the polynomials in the two fractions if possible. So this is equal to 3x upon x plus 3 the whole into now here in the numerator we will take 2 common from both the terms and it will be 2 into x plus 3 the whole whole upon 5x and this complete whole. Now we will cancel the common factors that is x plus 3 the whole and x and this is equal to 3 into 2 whole upon 5 which is equal to 6 upon 5. And now let us discuss division of rational expressions. Now to divide the two rational numbers or to divide two rational expressions we multiply the dividend by reciprocal of the divisor and follow the same method as used in multiplication that is to find f of x upon g of x divided by r of x upon q of x we will multiply the dividend that is f of x upon g of x by reciprocal of the divisor and here reciprocal of the divisor will be q of x upon r of x and then we will follow the same method as used in multiplication. Now suppose we have to find x plus 1 whole upon 2x minus 1 the whole divided by x plus 1 whole upon x the whole. So this will be equal to x plus 1 whole upon 2x minus 1 the whole into now taking the reciprocal of second rational expression this will be x upon x plus 1 the whole. And now we will cancel the common factor that is x plus 1 the whole and this is equal to x upon 2x minus 1. Now let us discuss how to add and subtract rational expressions. Now we add and subtract the rational expressions just like rational numbers by taking least common multiple of denominators and adding terms in the numerator. In order to add or subtract two rational expressions, the two fractions must have common denominator and if the denominator is not common, then we make them equivalent by multiplying both numerator and denominator by least common multiple of denominators now LCM of denominators is equal to product of the two denominators or the product of all the factors 
of one or both denominators where the repeated factor is taken only once. Now let us discuss this with the help of an example. Now here we have to add a square upon 2a plus 2 the whole and 3a minus 1 then upon a square minus 1 the whole. Now here denominator of first fraction is 2a plus 2 and denominator of second fraction is a square minus 1. Now on factorizing the denominator of first rational expression this will be equal to now taking 2 common from both the terms it will be 2 into a plus 1 the whole and denominator of second fraction is a square minus 1 which can be written as a square minus 1 square and this is equal to a minus 1 the whole into a plus 1 the whole now we have to find LCM of denominators which will be equal to product of all the factors of one or both denominators. So here LCM of denominators will be equal to 2 into A plus 1 the whole. Now here A plus 1 the whole is the repeated factor so it will be taken only once. And the LCM of denominators will be equal to 2 into A plus 1 the whole into A minus 1 the whole. Now, we have to make the denominators of both the fractions equivalent to the LCM. Now, the first fraction is A square upon 2A plus 2 which is equal to a square upon 2 into a plus 1 the whole. Now here, for making the denominator equal to the LCM, we will multiply the numerator and denominator of this fraction by a minus 1 the whole. And this is equal to a square into a minus 1 the whole. 1 upon 2 into a plus 1 the whole into a minus 1 the whole. Similarly, we will multiply the numerator and denominator of second fraction by 2 and this will be equal to 2 into 3a minus 1 the whole 1 upon 2 into a plus 1 the whole into a minus 1 the whole. Now, for adding these two rational expressions, we will add the two rational expressions having common denominator. So, this will be equal to, now in the denominator we will have 2 into a plus 1 the whole into a minus 1 the whole and in the numerator we will have a square into a minus 1 the whole plus 2 into 3a minus 1 the whole. And this is equal to, now a square into a is a cube and a square into minus 1 is minus a square plus 2 into 3a is 6a and 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 whole upon 2 into a plus 1 the whole into a minus 1 the whole. So, this is the required answer. Now, you should note one point that if after adding numerator, we can further factorize, then we simplify it further and reduce the fraction if possible. That is, we will simplify the fraction now let us discuss addition and subtraction of rational expressions using LCM as product of denominators. And for this let us discuss an example. Here we have to find 3 upon x minus 1 the whole minus x plus 3 whole upon x plus 1 the whole. 
Now here we will directly take the LCM of denominators as product of denominators which is equal to x minus 1 the whole into x plus 1 the whole. Now here we will make the denominators of both the fractions equivalent to LCM. Now here the first fraction is 3 upon x minus 1 the whole. So here we will multiply the numerator and denominator of this fraction by x plus 1 the whole and this will be equal to 3 into x plus 1 the whole whole upon x minus 1 the whole into x plus 1 the whole. Similarly, in the second fraction we will multiply the numerator and denominator by x minus 1 the whole Now, for subtracting these two rational expressions, we will subtract the two rational expressions having common denominator. So this is equal to, now in the denominator we have x minus 1 the whole into x plus 1 the whole and in the numerator we have 3 into x plus 1 the whole minus x plus 3 the whole into x minus 1 the whole and this complete whole. Now on simplifying in the numerator we get 3x plus 3 minus x square plus x minus 3x plus 3 whole upon x minus 1 the whole into x plus 1 the whole now combining the like terms in the numerator, we have minus x square plus x plus 6 whole upon and in the denominator x minus 1 the whole into x plus 1 the whole is x square minus 1. So this is the required answer. So in this session we have learned that set of rational expressions is closed under addition, subtraction, division and multiplication and this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.